So, in a lot of my paintings, I like making vast landscapes that look very big. So it makes uh, the enormity, the all-encompassing nature of the natural world is what I really like capturing and how green it can be. Um, and this is more of a fantasy landscape, as you can see with the dragons. But it still has that nature is really big and people are just a tiny part of it right. feel. I really like fantasy novels. <laughs> so they are what I mostly read. And I like the idea of fantasy worlds that involve dragons. And so it's my love for that came into play here. And that's, that's how I sketch it out first and then like in my sketchbook. And then I sketch it on the canvas very roughly and I add uh, colors later. So it does happen slowly over a process. Um, I do think about like the colors I want and what I want where. When I, I do love green. It's my favorite color and it's very prominent in nature. So there tends to be a lot of it in my landscapes. Um, and like combination of blue and orange. It's my favorite pair of complementary colors. I just really like the way it looks. So that also uh, plays into it a bit, but I do have other paintings at home that are not landscapes that have less green in them, <laughs> but yeah. yeah. The landscape in this one is actually inspired by the creek that runs through my backyard which is like the bushes and the the hills in the background and the ridge. And so I really attached to the creek in my back. I, I played in it as a little kid. I get to express something that I wouldn't be able to express otherwise. And it takes what's in my mind and makes it real. It gives me something to hold.